Good morning everyone. So for this video demonstration, uh, we're going to talk about the timer class in Java. So a timer in Java is defined as something that we use to schedule a certain task that will be performed after a specific period of time. So these tasks may be scheduled for a one time or single ex execution or for a repeated execution. So say for example, if you want to print Hello World after 5 seconds, na, after ni mong iparan yung program, so pwede na mo ma accomplish using this timer. So if you also want, for example, to display Hello World after every 5 seconds, so pwede po ka magamit o timer. So uh, first thing no, that we need to understand is that there are two types of timers in Java. So we have the utility timer, which is a general purpose timer, and a swing timer, which is more on uh, to be used for GUI related na mga tasks. So utility timer, say for example, you have you want to create an internal account, no? Sa imong program, uh, after pila ka seconds mo display siya o si for example, hello world. So pwede ka mag utility timer. So, for example, if you also want to create a basic animation, like if you want to move a circle from one end to another, you may use the swing timer. So, in this video demonstration, I'm going to show you how to use the utility timer or the, the general purpose natong timer. So, to use the utility timer, we need two things. So, we need the timer object and the timer task object. So, timer will be itong sa ito ang uh, time, no? And then, timer task will be responsible for the execution of the task. So, this can be uh, imported using these na mga libraries. Okay. So, we need to create na and instantiate our timer object first. So, this is how we create no, or instantiate an object. So first, we need to call the object. No? Just like creating a variable. So we have here, this can be, you can say that this is the object type. Then we have here our identifier no? or similar as a variable name. And then we assign its value. So to assign the value of an object, we need to create an instance of it. So, mag-create taog new instance. So, new and then the class, no? Or the timer class. So, next, we also need to uh, implement to create the timer task. No, same gay na, but instead ng timer, we are now using or we need to create a timer task object. Then we have here our, our identifier. And then same kagay na, na create taog instance niya. So we simply invoke new. And then ang name sa, in, sa object na we create. But this time, no, notice nga we are, we have this curly nga mga braces here. So inside ang nga mga curly brace, now we need to implement Okay, the methods, the different methods that belong to this timer task object. So we need at least one. So for this demonstration, I will be using this run, no? Can you see a public void run nga method ni timer task. For a complete list of the different mga methods, you may visit the documentation. Link is posted here below. Alright, so next, we need to connect our timer and timer tasks. So we can do that by creating a schedule. So to create a schedule, we simply call the our timer object identifier, okay, that schedule. Okay, this schedule takes two arguments. So we need the task, no? Katong task na tong create earlier. Okay, this one. And it also takes 
Okay, this 5,000 right here is the delay in milliseconds. So, um, very common in most programming languages when we refer to delay or time. No? Usually, naka milliseconds ang ilang default. So, meaning, this timer, all right, or rather this object right here, it will be performed after 5 seconds. So, if I run my program, and I have this okay, system that out that print. Okay, I'm the task. So right after ako para ng program, nasa delay ng five seconds before to niya i display. Okay. Now say for example you want the task to be repeated. Now like for after every seconds or after every five seconds, mo display ang ato ang I'm the task. So you can do that by using this. Schedule at fixed rate nga um, method. So it takes three arguments. So you have here task, no? the task that we've created. A zero here is the delay, and then 5000 here is our interval in milliseconds. So meaning, after you run the program, it will not wait no, for any delay, but rather it will automatically display the task. And then, mag-wait siya 5 seconds, iyan na pong i-display o ang imong task. And, and then, that will continue, no? That will continue, continue. Okay, infinitely, or until maka-encounter siya o katong at ang stop nga method. So, here is an example of, okay, uh, I'm the task, no? Mag-display I'm the task na string after 5 seconds. And this one is, is the example for to display of I'm the task after every 5 seconds. Alright, so let's proceed with the actual code demonstration. Alright, so I have here now the code that I presented earlier. Ito lang siyang i-patry o run. So we have here. We have imported the libraries that we need. We have the timer and timer task. Okay, we also have created the object, timer object. And we've created this timer task na to, ng object. And we've connected them using this schedule method. Okay, so let's try and run and see the output for this program. So as I run the program, notice nga, it will wait for a few seconds. Okay, before nag display si I'm the task na string. So that's because uh, we scheduled okay, the task no, to be performed after 5 seconds. Now let's try the schedule at fixed rate. So schedule at fixed na rate takes 3 arguments. So we have here the task no, na yung i-perform. Ang task ngayon tawagon. Okay, the delay. So, if we set this one to zero, okay, automatic na mag-display si or yang i-call once ang ato ang task. Pero, for example, huwag magbutang po kung delay dili ah, it will wait for okay, this particular na period, no, to expire before niya i-perform si task. And then, after ana, mag-interval na yun. So, for this demonstration, i-set lang ako nito zero. And then the delay, um, let's say, um, 3 seconds. So after every 3 seconds, I want this particular string to be displayed. So I'm going to try and run this program. So after 3 seconds, no? I'll create a, a display siya og, I'm the task ng string. And this one will continue, no? Until maka-encounter siya itong atong cancel or atong stop ang itong program. So, how do we create this cancel? Alright. So, let's try na to create a simple nga countdown timer. So, for example, um, I want this program to count to, let's say, 10. And inside my run, I want to add here an if a statement. Now, if the count is greater than zero, 
Okay, I want it to okay, display the time. Now the remaining time, and then if I also have to decrement the time, so simply count minus minus, decrement by one for my else. So if the time is up now, or if count is equal to zero, I'm gonna write here time is up. I'm gonna change this one to 1000 milliseconds, no, or equivalent to one second. And I'm going to try and run this program. All right. So notice niyo na, the time is up is still displaying sa tong screen. So that's because we did not put a stop or cancel sa to ang timer. So to implement our stop na or our cancel we simply call the timer that cancel function. So what this will do is this will cancel the timer or this will cancel this scheduled nga task. So if I run this program, it will do the countdown and let's see no, if it stops when time is up. Alright, so as you can see, our program has stopped. Okay, so that's how we use cancel when we schedule a timer at a fixed date.